Hello, and welcome back to Made of Pores. Thank you so much for watching today. It is time for another special Pouring Coast to Coast collab. If you're coming here on premiere day, thank you so much, Christine, and be sure to stay tuned for Garrick's. This is a bi-weekly collab we do all together with some incredible artists. We've got me, Made of Pores, Garrick Brown, Christine Jezik, Tara Lombardi, and Britta Clayton. And I highly suggest you go down into the playlist and check out everybody's amazing pours today. Um, there was no theme this week and it was actually my week to choose and I chose to just let everyone create freely. And I ended up being very grateful for that because it's actually been a very difficult week for me. Um, I found out that I lost a dear friend and I was not feeling the creative energy or even just the upbeat positivity that I usually come to my pores with. But I decided to take what I was feeling and sort of just focus on my friend, um, let him choose the colors, so to speak, and not think too much about this pour. This was a cathartic pour. This was a pour that allowed me to feel like I was spending time with someone that I was not gonna get to spend any more time with. That being said, this is going to be a little bit different than um, I, don't, I usually talk and explain what I'm doing. I am going to briefly go over my palette and then from there, I'm just gonna let you experience this pour with me. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. This is in memory and in honor of my dear friend, Kyle Bomber, and we're gonna miss you, buddy. So without any further ado, let's get to pour. So we're gonna go over the palette really quick here, kind of in order from lightest to dark. I've got this Golden Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Pearl Fine, Golden Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Gold Fine, and then I am using this Treasure Gold in Fire Opal, a really, really beautiful color I haven't used in a while. Then I do have, this is Quinacridone Magenta, which is a Golden Fluid Quinacridone. Here you see. But then I've taken the satin enamel and I've created sort of a second cup with just a touch of the satin enamel in it. And that is to try to get some cloudy effects. We'll see how it goes. And then here I have my Payne's Gray, which I did the same thing. I have the straight Payne's Gray and a slightly cloudy version. And then a final blue, which is very similar, but it is different. The Golden Fluid Prussian Blue where I have my straight Prussian blue, and then also the cloudy version, just a little bit. And then last but not least, and then last but not least, I have this treasure gold in blue quartz, another one of my favorite colors here. So that is the palette, and now we are going to get to pouring.
is all dry. Um, I actually find it beautiful. Sometimes you just have to pour a bunch of colors in a cup and let them speak for themselves. For me, this light flowing off the end, it, that light represents Kyle more than anything else. So thank you again for watching. You know that I do appreciate it. Please do remember to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to check out the other incredible artists in this collaboration. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.